네, 안녕하십니까 블록미디어 구독자 여러분 오늘은 제가 웹3 홍콩에 나와 있는데요 서싱트라는 프로젝트의 창업자 오마로이를 만나고 왔습니다 서싱트는 GK 롤업, 영재식 GK 롤업에 대해서 이제 빌딩을 하고 있는 프로젝트인데 오늘 오마로이 파운더님과 함께 서싱트에 대해서 더 알아가보는 시간을 가져보도록 하겠습니다 So, how, how are you doing in Hong Kong? Do you think it's good? Um, yeah, I got here yesterday after a pretty long flight from San Francisco. Um, but yeah, it's been, the weather's very nice, the food is good. No so, jet lag? Maybe? No, I, I am pretty jet lag. Yeah, really? Uh, thank yeah. you for the interview. And could you please introduce about yourself and Succinct? Um, yeah, I'm Uma. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Succinct. Uh, we're building a ZK VM uh, called SP1 and our Succinct network, which is a prover network that's kind of a protocol to make ZK really easy, cheap, and fast. Okay, so could you like explain more about ZK VM? Uh, what is it kind of a roll-up or is it kind of a virtual machine or is it yeah could you explain more about it yeah a zkvm is not quite a roll-up it's more a technology that can be used to build roll-ups so a zkvm is just a piece of software where you can put in normal code and get out zk okay. um, and so for example roll-ups like optimism can take their code use our ZKVM and then become a full ZK roll-up using our technology and using our network. So projects like Optimism, Arbitrum, or some roll-ups can become ZK using your product. That's what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so can you explain more about how does Succinct make it easy to generate ZK proofs from normal codes like Rust or C++? Yeah, so our ZKVM is our core technology that you can take normal code, you can write whatever function you want to generate a ZK proof of, and then you get a proof. And then our network uh, makes it really easy to get that proof. Because if you wanted to generate a proof yourself, like on your laptop or something, your laptop's not powerful enough. Uh, you need like GPUs and special hardware to actually generate these proofs. And so our network connects all the applications wanting proofs uh, with hardware all across the world for generating these proofs and sending them back. Uh, you can kind of think of it somewhere, I guess, to Bitcoin mining, where you had all these people all across the world who are, you know, participating in proof of work. And our network's similar. You have people all across the world generating proofs and sending them back to use for security for rollups, you know, verifiable exchanges, other ZK applications, really anything you want verifiability um, for. So it's like a fund very fundamental question, but why do you think like a lot of crypto people are talking about ZK, zero knowledge? Because this is uh, YouTube explaining to a very easy retail traders in Korea. So could you explain easily about ZK, why crypto people are really into it? Yeah, I mean, ZK is this, you know, cryptographic primitive that is super important for blockchain scaling. Like today, blockchains like Ethereum or Bitcoin are really slow, they're really expensive. And then ZK solves that problem by making blockchain scalable so you can do whatever computations you want at whatever scale you want. Uh, and you can do all the things we want to do with blockchains. Okay, so I know that you guys have the Prover Network, and why is decentralizing proving very important as the, it's an additional question, yeah. Yeah, so if you think about like something like Bitcoin mining, you had all these people all across the world who built out data centers and spe special hardware like custom chips to generate um, the proof of work and participate in mining. For us, we need something similar. Like ZK also requires specialized chips, uh, lots of energy um, to you know, generate these proofs. And so we want to incentivize this global scale hardware build out, uh, similar to like the mining and Bitcoin mining build out, where anyone in the world can participate, generate proofs, benefit from the network, participate in the network, and help make all blockchain scale. Okay, so also, uh, as I read some of your docs, so could you explain what a proof contest is and mm. how it makes the network more efficient maybe? Yeah, so our network has a specialized uh, algorithm or you know matching process known as a proof contest uh, or a mechanism known as a proof contest. Uh, the proof contest makes sure that provers uh, or people who want proofs uh, can get the proof as cheap as possible while also ensuring that 
Um, provers still can remain decentralized, so it doesn't always go to like one big prover or result in like a prover monopoly. So the proof contest mechanism makes sure that the market can remain efficient while still being decentralized. So the prover, um, the prover participation. How does Luxin compare to mining or staking in terms of how provers participate? Basically, is this it? Yeah. So mining was like the first generation of blockchains, right? Yes. Um, but it was very wasteful because there's a lot of repeated work. And then staking was the next generation, um, but actually staking uh, is you know requires all these nodes across the world redoing the same computation, and also it's very expensive. So today Ethereum gives away billions of dollars a year to the stakers to provide security for the network. zk is like the last generation, and it's kind of the final generation of how all blockchains will be secure. And you generate a zk proof of your execution. Anyone in the world can verify that proof, and it's much cheaper, much more efficient, and much more scalable uh, because you don't have people executing redundant computation. Okay, so what kind of real world real world use cases will be there from benefiting from your succinct using zkVM or zk proofs? Maybe I think two important ones. The one that's very obvious is things like verifiable exchanges. So think of. Today, like centralized exchange, you have to trust them. They can take your money. With a zk exchange, it will generate proofs that it's doing everything correctly, and it can't take your money. So you're saying that Dexes can use your solution also to protect your money. Yeah, exactly. So you can make, for example, a zk order book exchange. Uh, another cool one that's more a real world use case is proving that an image is a real image. So today, like um, the AIs are really good at generating images, so it's hard to tell if an image is real or if it's fake. Uh, with zk, you can prove that an image is actually real, taken from a real camera of a real person, and that's very exciting. Yeah, sure. So okay. So this is a further question. So how does succinct ensure provers act honestly and deliver proofs on time? Mm. So provers can't cheat the system because. Generating a proof means the computation is correct. Okay. Like the, you can't generate a fake proof. That's like the whole point of proving. Um, to ensure that provers act on time, we have staking in our protocol, okay. where provers stake, and then if they say they're going to generate a proof, but they don't deliver it, they can get slashed. So I, um, it's like it's more like a token, a token question. But how do you, so people these days really care about yield bearing protocols or like money making protocols these days? So I think, as I heard, succinct is kind of a B two B solution for all the products. So how do you how do you kind of like generate? Some revenue, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I actually um, think a lot of people will pay money for proofs. Yeah, yeah. Um, because people care a lot about the security of their chain, and so you can imagine that the security today that they pay either to stakers in the future it'll go to proving. So today, like staking, people pay billions of dollars for staking, and all that money. Will be go to proving as more people go from proof of stake to zk chains. Another way of you know measuring the numbers is today, um, if all the zk chains did 5,000 TPS, which is similar to something like Solana, and each transaction paid one tenth of a cent for proving, so it's very little. Yeah. Um, if you multiply that out, that's actually hundreds of millions of dollars yeah. a year. So I think the revenue potential of proving is very high because it's the fundamental way all these chains are going to be secured. Okay, so uh, this is uh, more question about like fees and rewards. So mm. how do you like handle the fees and rewards in the system? Yeah, so the fees are paid by the user, um, and then uh, most of the fee goes to the prover, okay. and then the prover also gets like a reward, um, you know, incentivizing them, and then the network also takes a portion of the fee for kind of matching the user and the prover and coordinating all the actors in the system. It's kind of similar to other protocols. Right? Yeah, basically. So, so why do you think people call succinct the first de decentralized prover network, and why do you think it really Matters. It's kind of a last question, so yeah, you can say anything you want. Um, I think proving and zk is going to be the backbone of like how all chains in the future work. 
So it's really important that there's a protocol uh, to kind of help prove all that demand and prove all these transactions and do it efficiently and quickly uh, and for cheap, as cheap as possible. So that's why I'm very excited about our protocol. It's the first time I think ZK will be easy and you like so widely available. Yeah, I think ZK was for a very hard um, techni technical thing to like adopt because everyone was using the optimistic role yeah, 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 optimistic. So I think it's a very uh, great technological uh, advance. So yeah. So this will be the really last question. So there are a lot of like testnet users in Korea actually doing the testnet succinct mm. and a lot of quests. And also there are retail users that are looking for succinct. So could you um, uh, give any, maybe, could you say anything to them maybe? Like advice, not advices, but just saying hello or oh, like, yeah. sharing up with them. <laughs> yeah, we, we really love our testnet and the community. Like I think, there's a lot of ZK games on our testnet where people play games and then generate proofs of like their high score or like their gameplay. Um, and I think it's like been really cool to see uh, kind of normal people finally understand this like very hard technology and become more familiar with ZK. So yeah, we love our community. We're so happy you guys really like the games and like the culture on our testnet. Um, and yeah. 서싱트의 창업자 오마로인님과 인터뷰를 진행해 보았는데요. 최근에 한국에서 서싱트 테스트넷에서 활동하시는 유저분들이 굉장히 많은데 서싱트에 대해서 궁금한 점이 많이 해결되었으면 좋았을 것 같습니다. 그러면 여기까지 블록 미디어였고 좋아요와 구독 많이 부탁드립니다. 감사합니다.